All new tonight at 11. It's a new Buffalo sports team making history. I got a chance to meet some of the men and women who now have a chance to play the game they love. Go, go. On the hot summer pavement. Finding sport. Hey. Finding purpose. That's what it's about. History is being made in Buffalo. Good job. It needs to spread. People need to know it's out there. Football players are showing their mental and physical toughness has no boundaries. It's comforting and it makes me more relaxed. If they don't ask me questions of why or how, you know, it's just here you are, let's play this game and let's get it going. These players are part of Buffalo's first ever wheelchair football team sponsored by the NFL Foundation and the Bob Woodruff Foundation. For U.S. veteran Kerry Frank. When you're able to play a stand-up sport for such a long time and then you can't, you have to forgive sport and then you have to drive on. And without the... Uh, greater adaptive Buffalo sports program. We just, we wouldn't be able to do this. Each player has a different story. Many have served our country, like quarterback David Cross. He was injured after being hit by an IED. He lost his leg as a result. I only can play physical sports. I can't do nothing else. Like I, can't, I tried and I just, it just doesn't work for me. I tried golf and that's just, it's boring. And it's, so, so being out there, getting out there to hit people, playing competitively and having some fun is it's everything to me. The team assembled by Norm Page, the president of the Greater Buffalo Adaptive Sports Program. I get more out of this than they do. I mean, it's it's really the truth because it's, you know, it's it's rewarding. I mean, we're all volunteers. Every every nickel we raise for our programs goes directly to our athletes in the program. Norm's son, Adam Page, is a three-time Paralympian and gold medalist. We got heroes here for that have given them, you know, a limb or limbs and injuries and birth defects to be able to see the joy on their face thinking they'd never, especially football. I mean, obviously we're a football team. It's never happened before. And now they can play football. I mean, the biggest thing in Western New York, Buffalo Bills football, and now they're able to play football just like anybody else. And there is no shortage of physicality on this team as the rules mirror that of the NFL. Full on blocking, hitting, Everything, pass interference, rushing, sacks, everything. So you just need to touch your opponent, but hitting is, uh, is the go-ahead. I mean, everybody loves hitting. They'll play against 11 other teams across the country in this league in two separate tournaments in Chicago and Salt Lake City. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. Good job. And while these players hope to come home with a trophy this season, the ability to play this sport. Good job, baby. To be able to have, ability to have socialization, to have friends, to be a part of something. Is a priceless gift. Players like Carrie Frank say has saved their lives. Sport is for everyone. You don't have to sit there and be in a corner anymore. You can shine. You can be tough. It's okay. You can play sport. The team tells me it was in need of new wheelchairs that were a little bit heavier for all the hitting and the physicality of the sport. And Norm Page tells me Scott Beeler of West Her Automotive heard about the need for these new chairs and donated 10 of them to this team. They cost about $4,300 each. Now the goal is for this program to expand to include youth programs as well.